Will, will you look at that? Look what just walked in. Now that's what I call a real knockout. Ruby. Billy Joe! Ruby. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, you sure don't look very happy to see me. Well, I'm just amazed, that's all. Well, I tried to call you a couple days ago to tell you I was coming, but I couldn't get any answer. Oh, where'd you call? Your apartment. Then I got busy with one thing and another and didn't get a chance to call back. Well, uh, I was out of town a couple of days ago. Oh, yeah? Well, I've been reading in the papers about how you're becoming a big wheel in the music business. Well, uh, well, yeah, I was up in Nashville taking care of some business for my client, Lena Decker. Nashville? You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Well, Nashville's where I just come from. I know that town like the back of my hand. See, I've been working in the music business myself there about the past year or so. Didn't Mom write you and tell you about how I was in the music business, too? Last word I got from Mama was that she hadn't heard from you in more than a year. Oh, yeah, well, it's true. I have been kind of bad about keeping in touch. What with one thing and another, the music business really keeps you hopping. Well, last thing Mama heard was that you were, uh working for some gospel music company in Atlanta as a secretary. Well, yeah, that's how I got my start. Oh. <clears throat> um, oh, uh, Ruby, this is a friend of mine, uh, Bobby Sue Baker. Uh, Bobby Sue, this is my sister, Ruby Wright. Well, it is a pleasure to meet Billy Joe's sister. Uh, I can see the family resemblance. <laughs> it's a real pleasure to meet you, too. Oh, thank you. Billy Joe, my throat is absolutely parched. Now, do you think you could get me a nice cold beer while I go freshen up a little bit in the ladies' room? Yeah, the sure. ladies is right that way. Thank you. I'll be right back. Your sister really is something. Yeah, she really is. Hmm. Well, I've been reading some wonderful things about you, Billy Joe. Well, yeah, where'd you hear that? Billboard, the trade papers. What? You read those things? Everybody in the music business reads them if they're serious. Well, yeah, I read them from time to time. Well, it sounds to me like you found the pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. Yeah, I found it. And I lost it again. Well, that record of Elena Deckers must have done pretty well. Even if it isn't on the charts anymore. Did all right, only we made a lousy contract. I'm not going to make a whole lot of money from it. Well, I'm sure her next record's going to be even better. There might not be a next record. Why not? Elena doesn't seem to want to perform anymore. Oh, I read about all those terrible things that kept happening to her. Poor thing, it sounded like she was caught in the middle of some awful movie. I'd just soon not talk about it anymore, Ruby, if you don't mind. You and Elena have a falling out? No, we didn't have no falling out. Well, then what are you moping around like this for? I got a lot of different reasons. Well, it's obvious that I got here just in the nick of time. Seems to me that you could use some help from your little sister. Uh, Ruby, how long are you going to be in Houston? Just as long as I'm needed. Uh, where are you planning on staying while you're here? Well, I'm going to stay with you, of course. Ruby, I don't think it's such a good idea for you to stay with me. Why not? You got somebody living with you? Me and my wife just separated. Well, I didn't even know you were married. It's only temporary, though. Uh, I'm not going to be much fun to be around these days. Who was it? Somebody from back home? I married Nita. You mean that little blonde you used to have such a crush on in high school? She was the only girl I ever went out with, Ruby. Well, what made you split up? It's a long story. Well, anyway, if you and Nita are separated, that's all the more reason that you need somebody around to look after you. I don't need anybody to look after me, Ruby. Now, Billy Joe, you're just being nice. I know that. But I don't mind, really. Well, we could even work on some business projects together. What kind of business projects? Oh, just a couple ideas I've been toying with. We can talk about all that later. Right now, I'd like to unpack my stuff and hang it up before it gets a lot of wrinkles in it. Oh, I feel like I was on that crowded plane for about ten years. Do you know that I had to change planes in Atlanta just to fly from Nashville to Houston? 
Look, Ruby, if, if you want to, you can change over here in the office. But I can't go back to the apartment for an hour or so. I gotta wait till the band gets here so we can go over some new numbers. I guess a couple more hours won't kill me. Hmm. You in here every night? Just about. Well, all the time I was reading about the coop being the place where Elena Decker sang, I was picturing something a little more glamorous. What do you mean? Well, I think this place could use a little more sparkle. You know, flash and glitter. The customers like it just the way it is, Ruby. There was this club in Atlanta where I used to... where I used to go to a lot that was real glamorous. Now, I think we could fix the coop up just like that place. Fix it up how? Oh, you know, get one of those bouncing bulls and put it over there. One of those reflecting balls in the center of the room. Throw a little more light around so you can see who's sitting at the next table. No, I don't think it's going to take very much at all to just perk this place right up. 